Good morning. Welcome to this early news report. We bring you the update on the coronavirus situation in Tokyo, Japan. Once again, the capital stands at a critical juncture this weekend with Tokyo Governor Yuriko Koike having urged the residents to stay inside and avoid all non-essential travel following the unprecedented surge of the novel coronavirus. Almost four months have passed since the first time she made such a request. However, not only has the situation intensified dramatically, the countermeasures policymakers had at their disposal then might no longer be an option. While the capital once again faces a crucial moment in its fight against the coronavirus, this time it does so on very different terms. In the last weekend of March, the city had reported more than 40 cases for three days in a row. The figure then unprecedented drove Koike to threaten a citywide lockdown, despite questionable legal standing and the central government to declare state of emergency in seven prefectures, including Tokyo, less than two weeks later. After nine days, this state of emergency was extended to the rest of the country as a result for less than two months. A voluntary moratorium was imposed on urban traffic and business nationwide. In contrast, daily cases shattered previous record records nationwide and in the capital this week on Thursday when Japan logged 981 new cases of which 366 occurred in Tokyo. It's a concerning number, Koike and or told reporters Thursday. We should take it as a warning that uh, stronger public cooperation is necessary to stop the virus from spreading further. The capital's previous record was set on July 17 when it reported 292 cases. On Friday, Tokyo recorded an additional 260 cases of COVID-19. Osaka reported 149 cases, while Aichi saw 60, recording over 50 for the fourth consecutive day. The same day, the U.S. Marine Corps in Okinawa Prefecture reported an additional 41 infections. Bringing the total infections among the military there to 201 since the July 4 weekend. The latest cases include 27 at U.S. Marine Corps Air Station Futenma in the city of Ginoan and 14 at Kam Hansen in the town of Kim. Imposing a lockdown on a city in Japan, at least one comparable to what was seen in northern Italy or Spain in the early stages of the pandemic is practically impossible because municipal leaders are unable to punish those who disobey social distancing or business closure requests. Political inertia and unavoidable economic losses or losses make it unclear whether policymakers will declare another state of emergency here in Japan. Meanwhile, several, several municipalities have refined their countermeasures by taking a more selective approach in testing and in providing cash handouts to local businesses. New infections with the virus sank to El Nal or Olal after the declaration was lifted May 25, but regained momentum in late June, and the pace of daily reports has since hit fever, fever pitch in urban centers across the country. On March 26, young people in their 20s and 30s accounted for 12 of the 46 cases reported in the capital. In comparison, new cases reported in Tokyo on Thursday were nearly eight times higher 
and young people in their 20s and 30s accounted for 232 or roughly 63 percent of the 366 cases. Compared with March 26, new cases reported Thursday nationwide had risen ten or tenfold. Officials said 49 of the new cases, or about 13 percent of the Thursday, were asymptomatic. Positive uh, polymerase a polymerase chain reaction test results were collected from all third testing centers in the capital, barring those located on islands offshore to the southeast of Tokyo, which the metropolitan government said had never happened before. Officials said it could be a sign that the virus has been spreading to new places in the capital of Tokyo. The most recent outbreak in Tokyo began in late June. The city reported about 50 new cases a day leading up to early July when the situation began to escalate. A fluctuating but significant portion of new cases have been tracked to host and hostess bars, made cafes, and other nightlife destinations located in Kamukicho and Ikebukuro districts that are located in the cities Shinjuku and Toshima wards, respectively. Koike advised older people and those with pre existing health conditions to isolate themselves over the four day weekend. The governor urged or urged all residents to stay indoors and avoid all non essential outings. Well, this has been. Um, our update for the coronavirus situation here in Tokyo, Japan. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel for more details and for more information about the corona, corona uh, or COVID-19 situation here in Japan and abroad. Thank you.